change gears now to bring you the moving story of a mother who is determined to keep her son's memory alive and also raise awareness about an important cause. He lit up any room that he was in, and I know every parent says that, but I really thought that he did. In April 2021, my dear friend, CNN correspondent Renee Marsh, and her husband Kendrick Payne lost their beautiful two-year-old son Blake to brain cancer. Blake loved to read. If we gave him a toy and a book, he'd almost always go for the book. To help honor his memory and favorite pastime, Renee wrote a children's book, The Miracle Workers, Boy vs. Beast. The book is about a boy named Blake, of course. Blake is in a magical land and has a monster of a problem. Only a miracle can save him. If you want to defeat a beast of this kind, the key to the fight is right there in your mind. Renee started writing this story of hope while in the hospital with Blake. I had been reading the story of David and Goliath and it really kind of gave me this fighting spirit. And I was like, I really wish I could read a book like that to Blake that would give him that fighting spirit. So that's where this idea came together. All proceeds from the book go towards pediatric brain cancer research, specifically the Blake Vince Payne Star Fund. What we found with Blake's very rare type of brain cancer, pineoblastoma, there's almost no substantial research. What would best treat it or even cure it? And that's just such a discouraging place to be when you have your child, you're watching them battle this terrible disease. Dr. David Ebb is co-director of the Pediatric Brain Tumor Program at Massachusetts General Hospital. He says when it comes to funding for pediatric versus adult cancer research, there's a big disparity. It's a very small proportion of the NIH budget that is reserved for treatment of childhood cancer in general and pediatric brain tumors in particular. And we are profoundly dependent upon philanthropic funding. 5,000 kids with brain tumors diagnosed each year, and the ramifications of a diagnosis of a brain tumor or a pediatric cancer diagnosis of any kind in a child can be far greater than just the numbers would indicate. My priority is to have some sort of impact so that the story and the situation that was for Blake is not for anyone else who gets this bad news. I'm very proud of the book. For us, the monster was cancer. And I see this as a fight that I have to carry on for Blake. And I feel determined to do all that I can to try to defeat this. And that is what this fund will help us do. And Renee hopes the Miracle Workers starts a conversation between parents and kids about hope and dealing with life's inevitable challenges. To date, Renee has raised more than $150,000 toward pediatric brain cancer research. No drug has ever been developed and approved specifically for children with brain cancer. We'll have more information on the book and the Blake Vince Payne Star Fund on our website. On a personal note, Renee and I met in graduate school at Syracuse University, the Newhouse School of Broadcast Journalism. Thank you.